Lines from Mesa, Arizona, I'm Megan McDonald. I am on site at the A Spring Training Facility where the WAC Baseball Tournament will take place in just a couple of days. But before we get to that, so much went down this weekend in baseball. Seating was determined, the final two spots for the tournament were determined, and the regular season champs were determined. Going into the last day of everyone's series, Seattle U and New Mexico State were tied with the same record. The Red Hawks came out on top with a 6-3 win over Sacramento State for their first ever regular season league championship in program history. That win also earned SU the top seed for the tournament and the first round bye. New Mexico State still has a ton to be proud of. The Aggies with the two seed and also have a first round bye. Utah Valley comes in third with a conference record of 18-9 and Sacramento State fourth. Those four teams all knew they had bids to the WAC tournament before the weekend, but three teams were fighting for the last two spots. Northern Colorado takes the fifth spot as the Bears just defeated New Mexico State in the final game of the series, 6-3. Taking the sixth and the last spot to the WAC tournament is the former tournament champion, CSU Bakersfield with the sweep over North Dakota. UTRGV just missed out, but picked up a win over Grand Canyon on Senior Day this week. Chicago State and North Dakota round out the final regular season standings. Take a look at the tournament bracket. Kicking the tournament off is the four seed Sacramento State and the five seed Northern Colorado. And the second game on the day is the three seed Utah Valley taking on the six seed CSU Bakersfield. This tournament is double elimination, so anything can happen after day one. Thursday games start off with the losing teams facing each other for the first elimination game. The next two games will be the first time you see the top two seeds because again, they both had that first round bye. So the two winners from day one take on New Mexico State and Seattle U, bringing us to Friday. Smooth sailing for the team that hasn't lost yet, but whoever is in the losing bracket really has to work for it with a couple more games. The championship game is set for Saturday at 7 p.m. local time, while the if necessary game will be the next day, Sunday at 12 p.m. local. That winner gets an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Players of the week, CSU Bakersfield's Chance Gusbeth and Seattle U's Nick Maserve have been named WAC hitter and pitcher of the week. Gusbeth hit 667 in three games. Against North Dakota, he finished a double shy of the cycle on Friday, going three for four with a home run, four RBIs, and three runs scored. Maserve tied his career high with nine strikeouts over eight scoreless innings, allowing just two hits and walking one for a Red Hawk 3-0 win on Friday. The left-hander finished the regular season with a 7-2 record. Over in softball, CSU Bakersfield dropped to UCLA and Fresno State at regionals over the weekend, but the runners have a ton to be proud of, taking home their first ever WAC tournament title. Don't forget, you can watch every single WAC baseball game this weekend on the WAC Digital Network at WACsports.com slash live. For more information, check us out at WACsports.com or follow us on Twitter and Facebook.